Hello! Well, today we have a very great and exciting and fun video for you guys. Today's video is about five tips for how to make the most of your DSLR camera. This video was requested and I hope that there will be many things that you learn today that will guide you through making the best of your DSLR camera. Okay, to get to the matter in hand. Here are my five, five top tips for you. Let's start. Tip number one. And this one you are not going to like. I already know this, but I'm going to tell you anyway because I think it's really important. Because a lot of the things that we don't like to do are actually really important. Because they're laying the groundwork for everything else. The first one is read your manual. Yeah, have you read it? One thing that was stuck in my mind ever since I started studying photography was this. You have to know the rules to break the rules, right? It makes breaking the rules a lot easier when you know what the rules are. So read your manual, know what your camera can do, know all the functions that it has and explore them. Tip number two. If you really want to learn how to use your camera in the best way possible, you have to stop using automatic. So I would recommend going for the M setting, which is fully manual, so you have to adjust everything yourself. But if you're not quite ready to do that, then I would suggest that you use either the AV or the TV setting. So the AV is for aperture, so you can adjust the aperture and the camera automatically chooses what is the right exposure time. And the TV is the opposite. So you choose the time and then it chooses the appropriate aperture. So when you're shooting manual, you can, especially with digital cameras, it's so easy. You can just test drive it. You can just see, okay, if I use this aperture, what kind of photo am I getting? Now let's try the next one and the next one and the next one. And it's so easy for you to then just compare and be like, oh, this looks cool. I don't like that. This, see what I'm saying? Tip number three. Study light because as you probably know or if you do not know photography actually means painting or drawing with light I'm sure that you understand that when you're looking through a camera the shutter is creating a hole through which light goes in and the light What used to be film but is now a sensor the light draws that photo onto the sensor So you need to study light and what I would recommend for you to do you can use artificial light Which is the easiest and the best for you to control you can just take a regular lamp you have a subject and you move that light around everywhere to see how it works, to see what light does differently from different angles. Of course, if, you're if you want to photograph people, you can do that with friends or family. The other thing you can do when you're outside is to use your, your hands and you'll see how where what direction the light is coming from and where the shadows fall, right? So you just have, have to learn how to look at light or you just have to learn to look at light and then to see how it behaves in different situations. When the light is more diffuse, like when it's cloudy outside or when it's bright and beaming and what do the shadows look like then? Tip number four, four. do all the angles. Whenever you're photographing something, whatever it is, and if you have a chance that, let's say, it's not like a speeding car, <laughs> but if you're photographing something a little bit more static, try different angles. Just as many angles as you can possibly do. The more you do it, the better you're going to get at it, the better you're going to understand what kind of angles work for you. And one thing to keep in mind is that whatever is getting closer to your camera gets bigger in size. Tip number five. This one is kind of a fun one. At least I think so, because I like to play around. <clears throat> I like to experiment. <laughs> So what you want to do is, if you have a fixed lens, if you have a prime lens, which means that it's not zoom, that it's just one focal length, what you want to do is you take it out. So I show you. So make sure that your lens cap is off. You take your lens and you turn it this way and you hold it in place because obviously the lens is not meant to be this way. And then you start photographing and you know what you have? freaking awesome macro lens like just play around with it but the results are so cool because you know the the focus area is like teeny tiny it's so teeny tiny i love that when i discovered that that's all that i could do for the longest time and now for the beast de la resistance i have one more tip for you this is the bonus tip number six if you really, truly, honestly want to learn photography and you want to learn how to really use the camera, start with film and start doing manual photography, okay? So your focus is manual, your aperture is manual, your time is manual, ISO is manual, everything is manual. And the thing with film is that you can't check it right away. So you'll have to be very tenacious and write things down. 
One more thing, photography is not about the technical skills. Obviously, it's important and I think that you need to know the basics. You need to understand how a camera works. However, after that, honestly, a photograph can be the best, technically speaking. Otherwise, it could be pure So train this. Train your eye and the only way that you can train it is by doing it over and over and over and over again. Practice makes perfect. So these are the tips that I have for you today and I really hope that they helped you, they inspired you maybe. And also, if you have any more questions, if there's something that you would like me to talk about in detail, please let me know. I would love to help you out with it. But otherwise, I will leave you today on this beautiful Sunday to take your DSLR camera and start photographing. Go photograph the nature, go photograph your spouse, your friends, your family, your parents, sisters, children, dogs, cats, you name it, do it. Because that's the only way you're gonna get better. I'm rooting for you. You see these props, because you know, they make everybody's face look so much better. You see that? Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. So smart. Eh? So smart. Eh? So smart. So do you believe me now? Get props. <laughs>